India looks to coordinate global crypto rulemaking as it assumes G20 presidency. India took over the G20 presidency at the start of the month and now has a year to coordinate international guidelines around crypto. India, a country that has at times sought to ban and severely limit crypto usage within its borders, has as of December 1st assumed the presidency of the Group of 20, the intergovernmental forum of some of the world's largest economies, just as much of the world is pondering whether stricter regulation of the industry is needed. As India takes over the group, which includes 19 nations and the European Union as a bloc, for the next year, the country will bear the responsibility of shaping the group's agenda. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is no stranger to crypto. He has previously called for global cooperation to tackle challenges posed by cryptocurrencies as the technology makes decisions taken by one country inadequate to meet the challenges. India and its Prime Minister will host the 18th G20 summit in New Delhi next year, September 9th to 10th. The prioritizing of framing globally coordinated crypto rules reflects a renewed urgency for tighter regulations amid another chapter of crypto contagions triggered by the collapse of FTX, a larger IMF role. India is looking to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, to lead consultations around the question of how to regulate crypto assets during its G20 presidency. Two people familiar with the matter told Coindesk, this could be a strategic geopolitical shift away from the Financial Stability Board, FSB, the international financial watchdog that has been the de facto leader in framing rules. Recently, the FSB proposed comprehensive international crypto rules. The chair of its crypto working group urged authorities to agree on global norms for the industry even as he warned that crypto would soon threaten global financial stability. The IMF is a member of the FSB but the FSB, established after the 2009 G20. London summit is seen to be closer to the G equals 20 in the US at a time of Russia's war against Ukraine said a person often consulted on policy matters by India's finance ministry. India may not want to alienate its old ally, Russia. Instead, a subtle shift towards the IMF may be seen as more neutral. The IMF did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The Indian Finance Ministry's role. The G20's work is divided into the finance track and the Sherpa track. The finance track consists of finance ministers and central bank governors from all G20 members. With India assuming the presidency, Indian Finance Minister Nirmala Sicharman and her team, led by Finance Secretary A.J. Seth, will be setting the agenda. The other track, known as Sherpa because it involves envoys, appointed by heads of governments who take leaders of nations to the final G20 summit carrying all the responsibilities, is for all agendas outside the financial sector. India's Finance Ministry brought in several officers to supercharge its efforts around agenda setting for its G20 presidency. Coindesk has learned. The ministry has assigned these officials priorities, including crypto policymaking. In the past few weeks, these officials along with senior officials of the ministry have traveled to Bengaluru where the first two G20 meetings in the finance track will take place. The first of around 40 meetings in the finance track, the finance and central bank deputies meeting will be held from December 13th to December 15th, followed by the G20 framework working group meeting December 16th to 17th, confirmed. People familiar with the matter. India's position on crypto. India's government has refrained from taking a clear position on crypto. C. Charman has said India hasn't set crypto-specific legislation yet because we need to have all the members of the G21 first of all to come on board to see how best it can be done. But this has not stopped India from imposing stiff taxes that have helped crush the local crypto industry. Other macroeconomic and crypto contagion factors are exacerbating the situation. India will introduce its budget for the 2023-2024 to fiscal year on February 1st, which is early during India's year-long G20 presidency. The country could unveil new crypto-related tax rules that may be aligned with the G20 but that would require a complete rethink, said Rajat Mittal, a tax counsel in India's Supreme Court. C. Charman can introduce rules for crypto if it is considered an asset in India, but the nation's central bank is responsible for overseeing crypto regulations if crypto is considered to be a currency. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, has maintained a view that banning cryptocurrency usage within the country is the most suitable choice for India. In June 2022, RBI, Deputy Governor T. Ravi Sankar said that CBDCs could kill whatever little case that could be for private cryptocurrencies. Sitting in on those finance track meetings will be Sankar and other RBI officials, who will showcase the bank's retail and wholesale central bank digital currencies, CBDC, the pilots of which began in the past month, as part of India's digital plans.